I'm just going to say this. <laughs> I'm just going to say this. How are you complaining about him spending time with his children when you don't even have custody of one of your children? Would that be you not spending time with your child? Make it make sense is all I want to know. Make it make sense. Now, we all know why the child is not with you. But the child is still not with you. You are still not spending time with the child. Do you get what I'm saying? Again, I don't have no beefs with this woman. I don't have no beefs with nobody. Why? Because I am the cancer of the family. I get along with every motherfucking body. I don't, I always want peace, happiness, and hair grease. You know what I mean? Like, I be over here minding my own business. I can only take so much anxiety. Um, and I have enough of it in my own little bubble over here. But it's like, girl. My issue is when my mama blood pressure get raised because we all know that she is not as uh, to the age where she going to take that case. She going to take that charge. Guess who going to take that charge? Coley Coley going to take that charge. So what I'm saying is you act like this nigga don't got big bad wolves over here on his motherfucking side. You you coming with all this Compton shit, which, by the way, once again, also ain't healthy for your children. So if we're talking about things that aren't good for the kids, right? If we're talking about the overall kids is the concern, who in your ear? Who in your ear uh, trying to get your motherfucking ass back on track? Because you definitely aren't. You definitely aren't. Like, what the fuck are we doing? You think because you don't drink and smoke that that makes you any better than this nigga as a parent? Last thing I'm going to say, let's not forget, this is the same bitch that spoke for my mother the first time she hit the blogs with her concerns. When you ain't had not a now conversation with my mama, my mama ain't told you shit about how she feel. Ain't nobody on your motherfucking side, girl. <laughs> like, I'm going to need you to find a friend. Like, it's that fucking simple. I'm going to need you to find a fucking friend. Like, damn. I feel like... When things don't go the way that you initially want them to or plan for them to or saw them going, um, you know, we are all entitled to that grievance period, right? And I don't want to judge nobody's grievance period because some of us, it takes longer to get over shit than it does for others, right? But it's like, bitch, grieve smarter, stupid. And that's that. And that's a wrap. And we don't ever have to talk about it again, okay? But what y'all not going to do is act like he don't got family over here that got his motherfucking back. Because I keep the motherfucking strap in the trunk. Getting a lot of messages saying, it's about time somebody spoke up. Or it's about time somebody said something. Let me tell y'all something. All y'all had to do was give me the motherfucking, just give me the light. Okay, just get me that light, cause. Uh, I just want to make this last correction. I was under the impression that she did not drink and smoke. Uh, that has since been corrected. Apparently, she does drink and smoke. So here's the thing. I can't stand a hypocritical ass motherfucker that be like, you smoke cigarettes, but you smoke weed motherfucker both our lungs is going down 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 so why are you concerned like girl once again it's still giving find a friend it's still giving uh we gonna pray for the kids it's still giving so neo's sister said y'all better stop playing with her brother and that baby mama better watch her mouth <laughs> would y'all have done the same for y'all brother i don't know baby mama better watch her back let me know your thoughts down below